Welcome back to a new sewing tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be sewing this dress here as we've seen on the thumbnail that has the milkmaid top like vibes. So if you like to see that, keep on watching. So let's get into it. So I'm going to come down by one inch here. This I just want to show you guys mark out this. So the next thing we're going to do now is to mark out the shoulder length. My shoulder length is 15 divided by 2. I am going to mark it to be 7.5 here so on this 7.5 i'm going to come down by one inch this is going to be the shoulder slope then I'll, from this center here i want to mark out my neck um my neck depth like going inside i'm going to go in by 3.5 okay oh we've taken the light so i'm going to go ahead and then slant it this way from the 3.5 to the 1.1 inches we came down from the shoulder slope so guys i'm sorry they've taken the light so i just going to use natural lights to continue the next thing i'm going to do now is to divide your armhole your round armhole my round armhole is 20 i will divide it into two i'm making it 10. so i am going to start from this one inch we came down here for as for the shoulder slope and mark 10 inches i'll mark it here then i'll come here and confirm my shoulder length so i'll make sure that this thing is on the same length as my shoulder length do you get so this is my shoulder length so this is where it's going to be so i'll go ahead and connect these two points together so the next thing i'll do is i'll go ahead and mark my bust point like my bust length and my bust length is 11 and a half so i'm going to start from the beginning here and mark 11 and a half and that is going to be my bust length so the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark my under bust length my under bust length is 15 inches so i'm going to use 15 here and then i'll connect this guys i made a mistake okay the, my under bust is 15 i started from the beginning here to take this measurement instead of from this my shoulder line for this under bust so let me remark it with a different color of marker this is the actual one 15 i am going to cancel this out this is my under bust length from here and i'm going to mark my waist my waist length is 17 inches so i'm going to mark 17 inches here and then connect everything together so i'm going to be here use this as my waist length so the next thing i'm going to mark now is my nipple to nipple my nipple to nipple is 9 inches, so I'm going to mark it from the bust length to the full length, okay? So the, my nipple to nipple is 9 divided by 2 is 4.5, so I'll mark the 4.5 and reach the full length and then I'll connect everything together. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to take my dart measurement and my dart I'm going to be using 1 inch on, on both sides, okay? Now if you are a smaller person, like you are slimmer, or maybe like I'm not that busty, you can go ahead and use 075 or even 050. On this bust line, eh, I'm going to come down by one inch. Then I'll now connect from this one inch to these dark legs. I'll connect them together. So this is what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to create our, our armhole. So to do that, I'm going to come from this one inch slope that we had yet down to this place. To the chest line and then i'm going to divide it into two when i divide it into two, into two i'll mark it here this point so at this point i've marked it i'm going to go in coming this way by 075 okay and i've come in by 075 i have this point here let me change my marker this marker is not bright enough so um it's not saturated enough so this is the new point here i have okay so at this chest line i'm going to take my take my bust measurement divided by four my bust is 44 divided by four is 11 so i'm going to mark my round 11 inches here so i'll connect this point from here to here and then to here so what we are going to do now is to form our curve and to do that what i'm going to do is to come to the under bust length here at this point at the under bust length i am going to go up by one and a half if you are slimmer than me, you can decide to do one inch. So I'm going to go up by one and a half. I'll now use my curve ruler 
and connect from this one and half to the under boss. So the next thing we are going to do is to create the off shoulder, okay? And this will also include like where our neck is going to start from. So from this, in this armhole here, I am going to go um, in by 5.75. I'm going to explain to you the reason why I'm using 5.75 inches. So that you don't have to use 5.75 because I used it. You have to use it with respect to how you want your outfit to fit, okay? So, so now I'm going to start from here and I'm going to follow my ruler on this line, okay? So I'm going to, uh, sorry, my tape. So I'm going to go do 5.75. I'll go this way. And then 5.75 is popping here and I'm going to mark it. So now let us go ahead and take this measurement. If I measure from the, our shoulder line to this place, to my 5.75, what I am having there is 6.75. The reason why is because I don't want my clothes to have much cleavage. If I if I if I use like let's say three inches or something, then it stops here, and then I take my measurement this way. It's about nine inches. I'm good. When I, by the time I get my my top, my dress, the cleavage is going to be much. So for you now that you're a slim girl, if you don't have bust, nothing, nothing, you can use three inches. You can even use two and a half inches because of course around ammo will not reach somewhere here it is going to be somewhere here so even two and a half inches is going to be enough for you if you're size eight size ten but then if you want to make it custom to your own body like you don't want to have any cleavage you get you can do it anyhow you want personally you can even come up by seven inches if you want maybe your thing to your your neckline to like start from five you can even do that it all boils down to you okay so now that i have marked this year i am going to come in by 0.75 okay now i'll come in from by 0.75 straight ahead i am going to mark it so the next thing i'm going to do is to come here and i'll come down here by 050 i'm trying to like recreate my round arm hole okay my new round arm round arm hole for the for this particular outfit so i'm going to mark it from here to here so at this point that this line is on this point here i'm going to go in by 075 i'll mark 075 here so from this 075 now 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 connect it to this 075 that we went in here with my core ruler and this is going to be my new off shoulder armhole you know here we went in by 075 so i'm going to connect it to back to my underboss to form my other side of my top so the next thing i'm going to do now is to just mark this place straight because you know i want my up uh, my outfit to like not show much cleavage now if you want your you see this is six and a half if you want your out, outfit to show like cleavage let's say you want eight inches you can mark eight inches here and then from here you connect it this way if you don't want your cleave outfit to, to even show cleavage at all you can even come down by four inches here of course you know that you have to extend this armhole here to come up to this point so that you can you can have your measurement to be here you get what i mean yeah so guys the next thing we are going to do now is to impute our measurement our body measurement remember that we already used our round on the our bust lens here okay we already used it here to mark our round arm hole so i'll just bring this down so the next thing i'll do is that at, the next thing i'll do now is to come to the under bust length my under bust length is 32 divided by 4 is 8 inches i'll mark my um 8 inches here then i need to compensate for this my that um, space that is missing here so i'll come here and measure this out and the that i have is 1.25 so i'm going to go ahead and put the 1.25 here so at the round waist i'm going to do the same my round waist is still 32 divided by 8 sorry divided by 4 is 8 inches so I'll check out the dart between this place and the dart in between them is 2 inches. I will now come and mark my 2 inches here. Then I'll now connect from here, that's the chest line, to the under bust and then to the waist. And this is what I am having. So I'll go ahead and add my sewing allowance. My sewing allowance is going to be 1, one inch. So now I'll go ahead and cut out this pattern. Please look very well so you can see how... I am cutting this out. So guys, you can see this is the back pattern. I'm going ahead to like mark out just like I did for the front. I don't want it to like save time. So the next thing we are going to do now is to mark out our armhole. So I'm going to get the distance between here and here. And then if I get the distance between here and here, I'm going to mark the center. 
which is here then i'm going to come in by 050 at this point and then at the chest line i'm going to get my round boss divided by four which is 44 divided by 4 11 inches so i'm going to connect this three line one two three i'll connect it together so the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark my bust pan that's nipple to nipple i am going to mark it from the bust length that's 4.5 down to the full length my nipple to nipple is nine inches and, I, and this is what i'm going to use and create my back dart so the next thing we are going to do now is to put our dart just like how we did for the front i'm going to use one inch here and then one inch here okay i want this my dart to reach the chest line so i'm going to extend this my chest line out this way and then connect my bust line this nipple to nipple line up so at this chest line i'm going to come down by 075 at this chest line i'll come down by 075 and then so this is where my dart is going to come from i'll connect this to this together so just like how we did for the front part i'm going to um, create my off shoulder so you know we went i i, I got 5.75 here and then from this lens i had 6.5 so let me just go ahead and use this one and mark the 6.5 okay but if you measure from here to here 7.5 but like i told you guys it's subjective it depends on what you want to do then at this point i'm going to come down by one inch okay and then connect these together yeah, I mark it a straight line just exactly what we did for the front that is what you are going to replicate here so i'm going to go in here by 075 and at this point also i'll also go in come in by 075 so i am going to connect the lines together so the next thing we are going to do now is to mark our our neckline for the back the back i want my neckline to have a little bit i don't want it to be straight right i want it to have like some form of curve so i'll stop this at nine here then i'll now connect this together so this is what i want my neckline to look like okay yeah so if you also want you can make your neckline at the back to be straight just like how we did for the front but me i prefer this one or maybe i might even leave it like this who knows we'll mark our measurements back on our round bust this our round bust i'm going to do 11 inch i'm going to mark my 11 inch okay then i also add this dart that is here i'll add up this that which is 050 to it at the under bust length i'm going to mark my round under bust which, which is 32 divided by 4 is 8 inches here i'll mark 8 inches then i'll come and get the difference between these which is 1.5 I'll mark the 1.5 here. So for my waist, I'm going to mark my 32 divided by 4, 8. I already know that the difference between my, my that here is 2 inches. So I'm going to do that. So I'll go ahead and connect everything together. So this is the center back and then this is the side back. I'll off this line here. I also try I want to try and make this thing to be a bit deep. Okay. So I'll use this new line. Okay, so you can have option one, option two, option three. It all depends on what you are going for. Yeah, so I will not add any zip allowance says when I'm, I am cutting the clothes on the fabric, like when I place this on the pattern, I will not add my zip allowance. I will also add my sewing allowance at the length side also. So let's go ahead and cut this out. So the next thing we are going to do now is to um slash this open and to slash it open i'm going to be using 1.5 inches across like you guys i'm going to mark 1.5 here another 1.5 that's three inches 4.5 six inches and then 7.5 so these are the difference between here and here and here and here is 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 so I'll go ahead and connect everything together so the next thing i'll do is to label all the patterns all the slash before i cut it out okay four five so i'm going to go ahead and mark a straight line here okay i'll mark a straight line at this point this is going to be our reference point and this straight line what is going to contain what is going to be on this straight line is going to be our bust length okay so this is number one i'll make sure that the bust line coincides with this i'm going to leave small line and this must be like one inch wait 
I'm going to leave like one inch here and this line co the bust line coincides okay so I am going to hold this here okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to measure out two inches I'll measure out two inches or let me use 2.5 so I can use two inches I'll measure out 2.5 from this 2.5 my next let me also hold down this place so this is our number two i'm going to make sure that at the bus length it starts from this 2.5 that we marked here so i will also hold it down okay so i'm going to go ahead and measure out again 2.5 inches for the next one to start this is 2.5 so this is the third line this is the bus length so i'll hold it this way and then i'll hold it down ahead again and mark my 2.5 inches i'll mark my 2.5 inches again so this is the fourth one this is the bust length i'll hold it here the last pattern i'll do that which is 2.5 again so i'm going to get my tape and hold it together make sure that everything is coinciding the bo on the bust line so the next thing i am going to do is to connect these points together okay i'll connect the points together then for the front the back i'm also going to connect it together so i'll come and add sewing allowance here okay i'm going to be adding one inch as my so i'm going to be adding one inch for my sewing allowance okay. then for this down part i'm going to be using 050 for my sewing allowance so this is what i have now so i'll go ahead and cut everything out okay so we are going to go ahead and cut this is our front pattern and then this is our back pattern so we are going to go ahead and sew this up now the down part of this dress is obviously gather and you know how to i believe you know how to form a gather I hope you found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video and i'll see you guys in my next one